Welcome to GTV. Today I will be showing you True Meters APM series panel meter and how to set it up with True Meters APM software. The APM provides a high level of accuracy in a panel meter with immediate visual indication of critical parameters in an economical package. They have a four digit readout and a bar graph giving this device a more effective way of monitoring and displaying data. The upper left corner has a four digit alphanumeric display that is programmable. This also includes custom messages for alerts when triggered. The unit is customizable with three colors in white, red, and green. Units are available with positive or negative displays with the entire backlight able to light up or the LED digits. Units are specific to the type of measurement such as voltage, current, or frequency. Select models are available with or without outputs. On the back of the unit are programmable dip switches that have preset scales or the unit can be programmed via free software from www.trueapm.com. I can connect the unit to a computer via USB and open the APM configuration. The left side has my parameters for what I'm looking to measure. To display the maximum capabilities, I will click on fixed display range and change the maximum value to 600 volts. Scrolling over the display will outline the values of the bar graph. I can also choose to display the peak bar, which will freeze a single segment on the bar graph to display the peak value. Since my example is only using 20 volts, I will also need to change the scale to have a more accurate display. I will put 30 here for my scale. I can also choose to adjust the offset here and the display zero if needed. The bottom here shows the displayed message, which can be changed to any alphanumeric value. On the right side are four tabs, alarm one, alarm two, backlight and response. Looking at alarm one, I can select between analog output and alarm mode. Analog output allows me to send a 4 to 20 milliamp signal to an external device. The alarm mode can allow for a switch output, a change in the display under an alarm condition such as flashing light or different colors, and a customizable four digit message. The box on the right here will define the alarm condition to be above, below, between, or outside a specific value. The second tab has the same features and allows for an additional alarm to be actuated upon a specific condition. For this demonstration, I will make this alarm a high voltage condition and the other alarm a low voltage condition. My next tab is the backlight for the default color display and the brightness of the LED in default and alarm modes. The last tab is for the response time. This will allow for me to change how fast or slow I want the four digit display, the bar graph and the alarm response. If display peak bar on the left is selected, I can decide how long I want the peak value to be displayed. This, of course, will not work with peak hold selected as the peak value would be displayed indefinitely. Once all my changes have been made, I can click on APM to get a pull down menu and choose Write Configuration to APM. I will use the demo here with the potentiometer to display my conditions with a low alarm and a high alarm. Notice the colors will change when I reach below my set value and change again when I reach above my set value. Remember that these messages are customizable and do not need to display the same as I have put on my demo. It is programmable for any four digit alphanumeric characters. True Meters APM series panel meters along with thousands of other products and services are available at Gelco.com.